Okay, so what we have here is an e-paper, and what I'm displaying is a um, label, uh, price label for, um, well, you could say any product. Uh, usually it has the price over here and like a USB or UPC um, code down here and uh, even some more information like a aisle number and stuff. I, I uh, was basing this off of um, one I took a picture of at Lowe's um, and the way they label. But what we got, see this down here, this is a Raspberry Pi Pico um, version W because it has the uh, internet, the Wi-Fi um, chip on it. And right now you can see I have it running on a battery. So it's a battery powered, but um, it goes further than that because these e-papers, when they are turned off, they don't turn off. They, they, that is, um, persist. The picture persists. Like this one I got from the factory. This is what that one looked like. And they've got an example of a, uh, price tag on it. And you see this is, um, three color. They, um, it's black and red and they count the back one. But I wanted to show you, see, and this is the Pico. I don't have it. It's not pretty. I don't have it, uh, in a box or anything yet, but you can see with the uh, Pico and it's got these on it, so it'd be smaller than this, but it could fit into a really nice compact package is the point. And it's even better because what is going on here is I have it where set up where it'll automatically check for updates. You see, it's got the price there, and um, I'm looking. I've got that down there. It says minutes, so I think I missed the window for updating. But what we're going to do is, you see up here, I have a web page. Now this web page is connected to a database that is on another machine in the other room, uh, an actual Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to update the price on this to $15.43. Okay, and you see down here what the price I have on it, $29.65. I like to use different numbers in every one anyway. The point being, is it will automatically update after five minutes, um, which is going to be probably in another three or four minutes. So we're going to stand here and watch it do nothing, absolutely nothing, for the next few minutes. Um, like I said, the point is it will be in a more compact package, the database. I uh, updated the database with a flag, and this will go out and check. Right now it's asleep, and when it wakes up, it'll go and check and see what that uh, flag is, if there's updates available. If there's an update available, it'll get it, and it'll reload it, and there it goes. So it found out there's an update. If, there, if, the, if there's no update available, it doesn't refresh the screen, it just goes right back to sleep. So you can see it takes a minute, about, I don't know, I haven't timed it, probably 30 seconds for it to um, go through the whole process. And there it is with a new price on it. Okay, so what, um, in a working environment, I guess they would, um, wanted to check for updates once a day, my guess. Uh, so the, the thing would go to sleep using essentially very, very slight amount of power to keep the board awake or not awake, just to keep the um, routine running to check for updates. But it would only do it once a day, so it would be using a very minimal amount of power, has a rechargeable battery that... Um, we could either put some kind of indicator on it uh, to 
let people know that, hey, this needs to be recharged, something like that. Um, so I think that's everything that I wanted to show in here. I will uh, show you the Raspberry Pi here in a second. Okay, right here, this is a full-blown computer, Raspberry Pi. I do have, uh, well, it doesn't have Wi-Fi built into it, so one of these little dongles is actually the Wi-Fi, and the other one is the for the uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. And then you can see the HDMI cable that goes to the monitor. But otherwise, it's just a power cord, and it doesn't need anything else, well, except that Wi-Fi dongle. And it's got a fresh install of Raspbian on it and uh, Apache 2 server and PHP, probably version 8, and um, the latest version of MySQL running on there as a database. So that's the exciting part there. This is the actual server. Like I said, it's not connected to anything. Okay, so I believe that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about right now uh, as far as the way the operation uh, runs, the way the device runs, and um, all the supporting components. Um, it's running uh, MicroPython, which is not as efficient as C. So it would be better to rewrite the code in C, um, get into some technical stuff here. Uh, just like the sleep, I'm just using sleep mode, but the Pico doesn't go into a deep sleep. A deep sleep uses a lot less current than just sleep. Sleep is still alive and active. Going into deep sleep really, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but it's more efficient using C in deep sleep than using uh, MicroPython's deep sleep from what I've read. So that would extend the battery life. And like I said, the, the e-paper uses absolutely no um, power whatsoever when it's put in sleep mode. And it's not dependent on power. Once you have it, um, the screen written to it, it'll stay there indefinitely. Um, the uh, database, what I'm thinking is that wherever the main database is will propagate out to the uh, smaller hub, which I'm calling that Raspberry Pi smaller hub, and it'll populate that. And so then um, this device will check to see if there's updates on it on a daily basis um, or whatever uh, is uh, needed by the corporation or whoever uses this. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover um, except for the fact that the, these are small but they come smaller or it can be customized to be smaller actually on a one board and um, so that's just another um, thought process talking to the uh, distributors about something like that or the manufacturer um, gosh I, I can't think of what else or anything else I need to say